Hello, and welcome to the Goodyear Airship Base in Southern California. I'm wearing a mask because we are following COVID-19 protocols and safety measures that Goodyear is taking. Uh, right now we are outside and we're practicing a six foot distance. So I am gonna remove my mask so that I can share the virtual uh, blimp tour information with you. So my name is Taylor Dean. I'm assistant chief pilot at the Carson California Airship Base. I'm gonna take you through a virtual tour of our Goodyear airship. Goodyear has three airships in its fleet. We have one here in Carson, California, one in Pompano Beach, Florida, and one in Akron, Ohio. And recently this year, 2020, we actually started operating an airship in Europe. Goodyear's been flying airships for over 100 years. And we've recently updated our fleet starting in 2014 with the christening of Wingfoot 1, followed up shortly by Wingfoot 2 and Wingfoot 3 to complete the new airship fleet for Goodyear in 2018. The Goodyear blimp is 246 feet long. That's three quarters the length of a football field. The envelope, which is the area, the balloon portion of the airship that houses our branding, is made up of a polyurethane, polyester, and Tedlar material, and it houses 298,000 cubic feet of helium. The structure of the airship includes an A-frame, which runs the length of the airship and allows connection points for both your engine units and your tail fins. This area is only accessible by maintenance personnel during hangar portions where we take the helium out of the envelope and under specific safety protocols. Pilots and on game days broadcast technicians fly inside the gondola portion of the airship. There are also 10 passenger seats inside the gondola for when Goodyear provides customer recognition events as well as windows 360 degrees all the way around the airship that provide unparalleled views. When we're over TV events at 1500 feet, we have the best seat in the house. Inside the cockpit, you have two pilots flying. One person's actively moving the side stick and controlling the airship while the other one's doing navigation and communication. The airship is complete with a fly-by wire system. The side stick, which is uh, both the, on the pilot side and the co-pilot side, allows the pilot to control the airship aerodynamically. The flight control unit senses the input from the pilot and moves the fins based on the input it receives. The thrust vector control system is a way the pilot controls their engine parameters and their propellers. It, it has four different levers included with it. You have your swivel lever, your RPM lever, your mixture, and your propeller pitch. The G500 is equipped on the lower portion of the pilot's dash. We use that for our digital instrumentation readout, as well as navigating from one place to another. It also has traffic collision avoidance associated and uh, obstacle avoidance. Thanks for joining me for a behind the scenes look at the Goodyear airship. I'm Taylor Dean signing off and wishing you blue skies on your journey.